testing season starts next week. If you haven't logged into Pearson Access Next, you should. Make sure you establish a password and request a reset if needed. When you're in the dashboard, the next thing you should do is make sure that you're in the right school year. Look on the top right corner, click IAR Spring 2020 drop down, and make sure that you select IAR Spring 2021. The drop down next to it confirms that you're in the right school. If you have any issues at this point or have trouble logging in in general, please email tech support and let us know. Once you are logged in, you should be able to find and work with your sessions. Your billing administrator will have further directions involving testing tickets and details about proctoring IAR. And also look for our proctor guide in the description box below. The top common problem that we have deals with screen resolution. That's why we recommend that immediately before launching test nav at the login screen, instruct your students to press control shift zero. This will reset the screen to the optimal setting. In the elementary buildings where students use Clever, click sign in with a different account to reveal the apps menu. Second common problem is making sure students select the appropriate testing site. In case a student makes their way to Iowa, for example, click the person icon on the top right, pick choose a different customer, then click Illinois. In the event that a student loses connection, they will show up as exited on the dashboard. Find their name in the list and click the drop down next to the word exited and pick resume. The teacher dashboard will time out in approximately 15 minutes. So either stay active on the dashboard or be ready to sign back in on a moment's notice. In addition to these tips, we have a complete IAR facilitator's guide in the description box below. We recommend that you glance through it or have the tab open for quick reference. To exit test nav, press the power button and click sign out. Also, it's important that you do not open Gold Guardian during IAR testing. Doing so violates the security guidelines. And please avoid taking photos of the screen for any technical reasons when it includes questions to the IAR tests. That's all for now. We hope that testing season goes smoothly. Thank you for watching.